down by the Old Mill Stream. It's your Smoky Mountain meteorologist, Paul Potita. And there is more winter grist for that mill in my forecast, at least as far as temperatures go. I don't see any big snow for the Smokies, but as I've been promising for weeks, things will definitely be cold for much of January and February. Here's an advanced look at temperature trends for January 18th through January 24th. Much of the eastern part of the country will be below average as far as temperatures go. You might want to find something to uh, cuddle up with through that time. This is our uh, staff weather cat, Baxter. Yeah, he's got the fur coat already uh, in place. So you need something to cuddle up with, and you need some hot news on how to deal with winter. In our Things to Know section, everything you need to prepare for the Smoky Mountains winter weather. Check it out. And if your New Year's resolution was to spend more time with your family, the Smokies make it easy. Maybe you'll spend some time under the sun on Wednesday or Thursday of this week when the sun is out, doing a little uh, hiking, rainbow falls, chimney tops, perhaps. Uh, This time of year, you want to be careful when there is a little bit of um, ice and snow in the higher elevations, especially that you have some kind of traction that you're wearing. Remember to follow us online, Facebook and Twitter, and visit My Smokies. We'll bring you any updates on road closures. One thing that opens with the colder weather, more trails at Ober Gatlinburg. They have a variety of Ski packages from four hours to three days, and you can rent the equipment you need. Besides the skiing and the snowboarding, there's ice skating and even snow tubing. Well, maybe you prefer getting around in an entirely different way. Also on our website in the blog section, this, which is a detailed map on navigating Sevier County via the Pigeon Forge trolley system. Okay, and now that we've got you prepared for winter, let's get you ready for valentine's day and the rest of february we have over 500 luxury cabins to browse on visitmysmokies.com despite the overall trend of colder weather this month you can see the seven day forecast has a couple of days that are above average thursday friday and saturday will be mild before that we'll catch the leftovers of a clipper tuesday afternoon and early evening and that could mean a few scattered showers even a little snow in the higher elevations there was about an inch on Mount Lacan and other high spots this past weekend. We'll have that nice weather Wednesday and Thursday, and then a chance of rain return sometime Friday. Rain could mix with snow in the upper elevation Saturday, and throughout the Smokies at all levels by Saturday night, our best chance of white stuff over all this period will be Sunday. Temperatures will remain below freezing all day long. And I'll remain right here, me and Baxter, working in the background at visitmysmokies.com.